Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create and enable user variables in Hyperion Planning data forms. User variables can be very beneficial. They are similar to filters, which will help limit the number of members that are being displayed on a planning data form. This will help focus the user's attention to the pertinent information, which will make their forecasting process easier. How to create a user variable. In planning, select the application that you wish to add the user variable to. On the toolbar up top, select Administration, Manage, and then Variables. The default tab that shows up is the User Variables tab. And here, you will select Actions and then Add or the green plus sign to add a new user variable. You will select the dimension that you are looking to create the user variable for and then create a name that will make sense to users that will inform them what type of variable they're changing. For example, a user variable name that switches between planner groups is planner underscore group. Select OK and you have just created your first user variable. How to enable user variables on forms. So you've just created your first user variable, but now you want to actually use it in your forms. So the form that you'd like to add the user variable to, select Edit, and select the Other Options tab. Scroll down till you'll see Dynamic User Variables, where you will drill into this section, and you'll see Available User Variables and Selected User Variables. On the left-hand side, under the Available Users Variables box, you should see the variable that you just created, and you'll bring that over to the Selected User Variables box by selecting that variable and clicking the right arrow. On the very right-hand side, you'll see it says Enable Dynamic User Variables. Make sure to have that check mark marked off to actually use a variable within the form. Go back to the Layouts tab and update the member to the user variable. So for this example, we're using the planner underscore group user variable, and we have to place an ampersand before that to actually use the user variable. Select Save and Finish on the form, and you have now added a user variable to the form. Before an end user is able to open the form that has a user variable set, they will have to go into their preferences and update their default user variable. To do this, they'll go up to the top toolbar, select File, Preferences, and select the Planning icon on the very bottom, and then select User Variable Options tab. Update the selected member with the default member that the variable should be pointing to, and then select OK. Now, users are able to use the form that the user variable has been set on. 